this part here connects to that part and then this part connects to that part there. Notice that I'm doing these drawings freehand. You don't have to slow yourself down by being formal and doing it with a ruler. Freehand is good enough. With a little bit of practice you can get better. This is the white from the LEGO NXT motor output over there. And down over here is the black wire. And this wire, in fact, runs along here and to there. Notice at this stage the transistor part, which is the actual switching function in the H bridge. I haven't wired those up or shown or indicated the connections because that will come later. That's not too important. The main thing we have to figure out here is going back to our diagram. So in the previous diagram what we were figuring out is this business of when the current flows one way the LED facing one way lights and when the current flows the other way the current flowing the LED facing the other way lights. But remember that we need the four LEDs. So effectively you could draw your diagram like this and like that. But remember that you need to shift these LEDs around in order to get your H-bridge layout figured out. Otherwise you can do it with your wiring but it gets a bit confusing. Just to return to our H-bridge we can call this switching point here gate 1, we can call this switching point here gate 2, and we can call this switching point here gate 3, and we can call this switch over here gate 4. Just out of interest, this connector on this side of the transistor is going to go to gate 1. The opposite end of that transistor which is part of the optocoupler is going to go to negative. Then for this transistor here this part will connect to gate 3 and this part here will connect to negative. Then this transistor will go to positive power and this part of the transistor will go to gate 2 and for this transistor which is part of this optocoupler will go to gate 4 and that will go up to positive so those are the actual that's how these parts link into the H bridge circuit which we'll have a look at in a short while so here for the sake of clarity I've just redrawn this drawing. Notice that the white line comes in here. It also connects over here. The beveled edges of the opto-isolators face outwards. So these two are orientated that way around, these two are orientated that way around. Notice that none of these lines cross over each other, which is quite useful speed control you need to pulse the motors and you may need to pulse the motors very fast or very slow and that's where you need electronics to do the job. Having already built the circuit before I've got a running prototype here. The nice thing is I can now do a cleaner tidier circuit. You'll notice this is a bit of a crow's nest of wiring. 